My intention today is to create and well that's it. That is all you need. Well that and something to create with so I'm cutting down some mixed media paper into equal sized pieces that will fit into the camera shot because I really wanted to create a series of projects all in one go and, and demo that to hopefully inspire you to go and do a project just like this where you create a whole series of pieces just in one go because it's such a fun exercise to do. So yeah, go and have a go with it, it's really great fun. Now, all of my pieces are going to be a mini abstract using acrylic paint, but you can use this same type of way of working on anything really. So you could do it on different size substrates, you could do it on different types, you don't have to do it on paper, you could be doing it on canvas if you've got several canvases that you wanted to work on. And you don't have to use acrylics either, you could be using any kind of materials that you wanted for that matter. And then also you could ha you could do yours as abstracts too, or you could do them as not abstracts. Entirely up to you. The main purpose of this exercise is just to get you creating several pieces at once, all in one frame of reference, so all in sort of one plane that you can see all at the same time. And I don't want you to be thinking about outcomes, just have a play and let the ideas evolve as you move from layer to layer on each of the different pieces. And for my project, I've not picked any colours beforehand. The I've just the first colour that I started with that I had decided on before starting, and then that after that, I've got no colour combo in mind. But I mean, you could do this kind of work easily with some a specific colour combo if you wanted to. I just thought it would be fun to pick out colours as, as I went along, and really that was the same with the mark making that I'm doing and the shapes that I'm using as well. They, none of them were planned, they were all just in the moment kind of reactions. But there really is no rules for this, just make it up as you go along and see what comes out. So I've been doing lots and lots of different types of art this week, uh, some art for my patrons that will be coming soon, so big wave to you guys. If you're one of my patrons then some new art is coming your way very soon indeed I hope. So yeah really my week has just been 
full of art which has been fantastic and it sort of comes after a time when I've been channeling my creativity more into writing, web page designing, video editing because I've been putting together a workshop my first online workshop and it's coming out really soon so I'm really excited about sharing it with you and it's something that people have been asking me for and it's something that I want to do for a while so last month and for, for a little over a month now I've been really focused on it and that's all I've been doing so if you missed me here on YouTube and also I haven't really been posting on Instagram that much either then well you know why now and it's going to be a mixed media feast built around a, a theme um, but we're just going to use the theme to help us explore different techniques and different ideas and make several different projects in the workshop I have a couple more things I need to actually do on it before it's completely finished and ready for release but I did want to sort of start talking about it particularly as I've been so quiet on my social media for the whats I was doing it I can't seem to balance the being able to <laughs> get things together and working on things and also sharing on social media at the same time I kind of I need two of me <laughs> one person to do the social media and the other person to do the work <laughs> but yeah I wanted to give you a heads up and also it's gonna be part of the art for earth collection which is an amazing art bundle which is put together and sold to raise money for tree planting which I'm really excited to be part of that project too but I'm going to be telling you some more about these things and more detail but if you wanted to kind of like first to know more about them and when they're ready for release then sign up to my newsletter and I'll drop in a link to that in my description and of course when you sign up to my newsletter you also get a free ebook as well that helps you get creating it's full of projects to just get you creating don't adjust your sets it is fuzzy I'm afraid I had locked the focus but it decided to drift and I didn't spot it until a little bit later don't worry it is going to sharpen again soon but at least you can see the strokes that I'm making and how the pieces are progressing so I kind of kept it in for that otherwise it would have been a sort of weird jump So after all that workshop creating, all that writing and video editing and all of that focus on just sort of one big, big project, it was nice to just have play and this week I have just been doing a lot of art play that didn't have to have an outcome, so stuff that may not lead to anything. Luckily a lot of it did. <laughs> <laughs> which is great because now I have some <laughs> videos for, for YouTube and videos for patrons so that's great and this is just one of those art plays and I really enjoy doing it actually and I think it's something that I'll do some more of it's like paint doodling isn't it
Now, I don't always work like this in one plane. I mean, often I talk about working on multiple pieces at once because that is where I work. I will, I'll do several pages in different art journals or junk journals, but I'll do them all at once and usually yo-yoing between them. So I'll work on one page, put it to one side and then work on a different piece and then go back to that first piece and I could quite easily do that over, I don't know, five, six pieces. It really just depends on what I'm doing. And it is a fantastic way of working because you you tend, I find anyway, that you tend not to get stuck on stuff because once you do get stuck on a page then you can shift to another page. It changes up your focus you stop overthinking the first page and then that kind of helps you get through these kind of blocks which is great. But working on the same plane like this is slightly different because you can you can see everything that's going on on each piece all in one go. So there's no setting a piece to one side and focusing on another piece. I'm I'm looking at all of these pieces as one body of work. So I would definitely recommend having a go at working like this and just sort of seeing how it works for you. And this could be something you include in your art practice on a regular basis as well. I think this might be something that I'll do more of. I mean, I'll continue to work the way I've been working before, where I'll do one piece and put it to one side, work on another piece, you know, da 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 da. But <laughs> I think I'll do this as well from time to time because I kind of like watching how the marks evolved from one place to another. It kind of forces you to change things up a bit more, I think. When it came to the colour, I did try to make sure every time I changed a colour, I did try and add that colour to each of the pieces. But you don't have to at all. I mean, you could easily do it where you're just using colour in some of them and not using that colour in other bits as well. Yeah, there are, there are no rules, as I said. There's nothing stopping you from doing whatever you like and just seeing where you go with it.
Oddly enough, I am now in love with this accidental colour scheme and I, I think it's a little like summer ice cream. I don't know why, but that's kind of what it's making me think of. I was toying with the idea of adding in some black with a paint pen, maybe adding a little bit more detail, some more doodling, but I do like to sort of break out. I use black a lot for my doodling and I like to break out of it from time to time. So I decided to not go down that road for these and just leave it as it was. So let me know how many pieces you're going to be working on in one sitting like this, in one plane. I would love to hear what kind of numbers you can get to. I fitted in six for this particular one because they fitted really well into the camera, but you could happily try some more or less. It's up to you. <laughs> so if you want some more art inspiration, then watch these videos next and I'll see you over there.